How well do you really know the people on your team? I once heard the phrase, Starbucks are growing their business one cup of coffee at a time. That's a great expression that easily translates to the salon world, that we are growing our business one client, one haircut, or one staff member at a time. If you're serious about growing your business, you have to be serious about growing your people, and you can't grow them if you don't really know them. That's why it's essential that you have a formal appraisal at least once, if not twice a year, with everyone on your team. Developing your own and your team's abilities is an ongoing and never-ending process, so having a salon culture of ongoing communication and regular appraisals helps everyone to understand each other's motives and aspirations, which then creates the most likely environment for mutual success. So if the concept of one-to-one -one appraisals is not something that you're used to doing, here's five key points to help you get started. At number one, it's important to understand that it can't be just a chat. It needs structure, so you need to develop a question and answer appraisal form that gives structure to the discussion. There is no right and wrong questions, but avoid questions that would get yes-no answers. Ask open-ended questions that stimulate thought and discussion. For example, I used to use these questions. What have you enjoyed most about your job over the last six months? What have you enjoyed least about your job over the last six months? What skills do you have that you feel aren't being utilised? What areas do you feel that you might need further training in? What professional goals do you have for yourself over the next six months? Where would you like to see yourself in 12 months' time? If you give team members a, a copy of an appraisal form with those questions on a week prior to their appraisal, and then ask them to make notes in advance and to bring it along with them. Secondly, it's important that you give thought to the best time and place to have an appraisal. Allow plenty of time. You don't want to rush it. I suggest that you allow at least an hour minimum for each person. If you have an office, then that's where you should do them. But if not, you need a private, in a quiet setting. If you have to have it in a coffee shop, for example, at least make sure that you have a quiet spot to ensure that you're free of any distractions from clients or, or phones or passers-by, etc., as that destroys the flow of the discussion. Thirdly, it's important that appraisals should be a positive and motivating experience. All too often, employees view appraisals as a negative and they think that it's just going to be about being told off. Avoid the tendency to focus on reviewing all the negative occurrences that have happened over the last six months. I think that you're better off to deal with them as they happen, rather than wait for an appraisal. During appraisals, you don't ignore the negatives, but concentrate on the positives, concentrate on the future and give the person you're talking to something to work for in the coming six months. Fourth, the appraisal is a time for you to listen. I mean, really listen. This is an important opportunity to let people communicate their feelings and ambitions to you. So try not to be so preoccupied with your own agenda that you miss what they're really saying. Remember that it's easy for people to feel intimidated and vulnerable in an appraisal situation, so make it easy for them to feel heard and that you really are genuinely interested, because you are, aren't you? And my fifth point is to remind you that an appraisal is a two-way process, so ask them, what can I do to help you achieve your goals? What resources, what training, what other people, or maybe it's financial commitments that you need to make to give them the support they need to continually grow and to reach their goals. During the appraisal, make notes as you go and finish with some clear, measurable objectives and a plan that you're both in agreement with and both committed to turning into reality. Start every appraisal with a review of the goals and objectives from the previous one and discuss what worked and maybe what didn't, and what you can both learn from that. So thank you for watching, and if you don't already subscribe to the Two Minute Salon Manager, you can do so by visiting growmysalonbusiness.com. Have a great week.